What's going on guys, Jackski back on your screen today. Uh, it's a really windy day, so I'm gonna try to get all this in one clip here. I did end up buying my dream car, I'll say that. Uh, as y'all know, I did have the Focus or the Ford Focus ST. Great car, just not practical for later on in life. It was just a fun little time span of me having that car. Anyways, I'm looking at the car behind the camera right now, and I just want to let you guys know this has been a dream of mine for a while to buy this type of vehicle. And it, it is pricey, especially in today's economy, but not getting into politics. Anyways, it's, it's beautiful, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and have Kayla turn around the camera and show you guys my brand new vehicle. Okay guys, so I went to a decently sized parking lot in my area to be able to do a full walk around of my new vehicle. Let's go ahead and show my new vehicle that I got. So, as you guys can tell, it is a Chevy pickup truck. It's a Chevy Silverado 2017 Texas Edition, which is one step below the high country, um, but it is one step above uh, just the base model. So it has, come to find out, I did a little bit of research, it is custom ordered. So, because most Texas Editions don't have what mine has on it, not just speaking of the, the front bumper, the ranch hand, or the 24 inch light bar on the front, some days I like the ranch hand, some days I don't. I'm most likely going to keep it on because I can't find the stock bumper. But anyways, if I was in a bump up or I hit a deer or something, it would protect my the front end of the truck. It has different rim, uh, has aftermarket rims and tires. I think it might have a leveling kit on it or it might be stock height. Not 100% on that. Um, so like I said, this has different things than a regular text edition has these light up uh, tow mirrors and also when I open the door to the vehicle it has these drop down steps so I open it up and the steps drop down and I close the door and they go back up eventually right there um, 4x4 it is four wheel drive which is awesome I was not going to get a truck that was two wheel drive I hate people that get two wheel drive trucks because it's just pointless in my my opinion um, has parking sensors in the rear has this nice step right here so where instead of having to put your foot up here and then risk the chance of denting the truck with your foot or if you had like a steel toe shoe or steel toe boot uh, you can just put your foot here it's easier to access from here so for the tailgate it does have one of those slow opening tailgates where it doesn't slam open so opens very slowly and softly uh, it is bed lined I think it's a, like a spray and bed liner, which is super nice. Very dirty though. Um, so I gotta figure something out how to clean that up. Um, I think it has some paint spillage on the tailgate, but not, not a big deal. It also did come with a tunnel cover, one of those hard shell tunnel covers where you can, uh, where it flips and folds instead of one of those roll up ones, which is super nice. Um, it is an LTZ package instead of just an LT because most Texas editions are LT. This is an LTZ and I think it's stands for like a uh, land touring something or something like that um, super nice it has a humongous tip so by looking at the tip people are like dude is that a diesel I'm like no it's not a diesel it's a 6.2 liter v8 big block um, if you want to get a closer look at these rims they're not bad um, me personally I would want to put some deep dish chrome rims on it eventually and maybe like a four to six inch lift eventually won't be anytime soon though it is a crew cab has a uh, full uh, full rear so I will show you the inside of the truck at this point it has no floor mats in the back but I have no one that sits in the back uh, at the moment so if you want to show them the back real quick uh, so like I said full leather seats and then you get in here has these nice pockets behind the seats and in the center you can pull this tab down it's got cup holders right here for your backseat passengers uh, you can also lift these seats up lift all four of them up and you have a bit uh, like a bigger floor thing so and then also it has like all types of pockets and another cup holder right here the front obviously nice leather uh, wood grain panel right there it does have a amazing Bose sound system which I think is great 
Um, it did come with WeatherTech floor mats on the front. Those are a lifesaver. It has this front um, storage here. And in the glove box, it has more storage. I have the official owner's manual, which is always nice to have in any vehicle that you get. Uh, Touchscreen display. It's not a big touchscreen display, but it's all I really need. And it, is, uh, it does have Apple CarPlay as well. Two USBs here. Cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter. And also, it has a wall plug um, to plug in, like, if... I know Kayla's gonna be using it as a uh, heated blanket plug for uh, on the on the way home. I am driving this truck 22 hours to North Carolina in August for the wedding. But uh, I mean, I'm amazed with how nice this truck is. It has heated seats if you want the bottom and the back heated. It also just has the back heated if you want it, and it has cooled seats for the uh, hot summers on both on both seats. The heated uh, there's no heated seats in the rear. I think that's the only difference from the Texas edition and the High Country is heated seats in the rear. Um, this has a huge, huge uh, stuff of storage. I have some work stuff in there. Um, wireless charging pad right here for your cell phone, which is super nice. My phone's too big for it, and it has to be like flush, so like mine doesn't really fit there. But it's gonna be plugged up to Apple CarPlay anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It has buttons on the steering wheel. Um, has a voice command so moving to the upper part of this it has uh, like you can control lights and you can also program it to a garage door up here um, has the dome lights right here for down here to look into has a sunglass holder which is super cool and another thing that I'm going to show you I'm going to put it in set accessory mode just turn the key once it's going to beep a couple times and it has this little switch right here where you can hit this button and it opens the rear part of the trunk by doing that and to close it, you pull it down. So that's automatic, which is super cool. Like I said, nice touchscreen display. It has Apple CarPlay. I'll show you that later on when I plug in my phone. Like I said, it does have Apple CarPlay. That's not Apple CarPlay yet, but it has all, all types of stuff. You can mess with the audio. Uh, it has hands-free on the steering wheel here. And in the call, I think that's uh, the voice command button. You have to hold that down to see who you want to call. It has cruise control. And on the back of the steering wheel here, it has these bumpers where I can change the volume. And on the other side, I can change the song. Also, you can set uh, your seat to a, a setting that you want. Like, mine's set on uh, set 2, where it'll adjust. I, all I have to do is hit the 2, and it'll adjust to the ride comfort that I want to be on. And like I was saying, leather seats... Um, I think I'm going to get one of those carpet things for the front dash so the dash doesn't fade from the sun. Eventually I'll get one of those. It has very nice mirrors on both of the sun uh, protectors here where the lights will get brighter, um, which is super cool. But I do plan on, uh, like I said earlier, I do plan on maybe putting it on a 4 or 6 inch lift running 35s and put some deep dish chrome rims on it. I uh, think about 1250 wide. Or uh, 1150 wide, whichever one suits the truck more, in my opinion. But it's it's a very nice truck. This is the nicest vehicle I've ever had. But it's dirty as shit, so let's take it to the wash. Okay, so like I said, here is the Apple CarPlay. Very very nice, responsive. Uh, you can send a text message to people from this. You can go to Maps, type in a destination, and uh, also search destinations. You can go to Spotify see what's now playing um, and go back here pick different playlists swipe up swipe down stuff like that which is super cool and it has the calendar settings all types of stuff rock and if you want to look down here um, it has different controls so like I can hit the power button and it'll be on um, I can turn mine lower see how that one's still on high and mine I can go to like cold air or whatever it is cold outside so I'm leaving it on high um, has defrost the feet, feet and uh, upper body, as you can see. Um, has tracks control. It's got a jellyfish launcher. Not really, but that's for a dome light for like the bed. If you're doing something in the bed at night, you can turn that light on and it'll shine a light in the bed. Uh, parking assist, and I don't really know what that is. All right, so we are going to take it to the wash because it's very dirty. So I'll pick you guys up when we're in the car wash. Just made 
made it to the car wash. Super long line because, like I said, it snowed. So everyone's trying to get a car wash, but I uh, just want to let, let you guys know that we made it to the car wash, and I'll do like a little film session inside the car wash. So if you guys ever go to a car wash, I used to work in a car wash. Just get the basic wash because it's the same soap and everything. Trust. They try to they try to upcharge you like twenty five dollars. It's the same shit. Anyways guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I just wanted to let you guys know um, that surprise that I had for you and if you thought this video was good, make sure to stay tuned for the next video because guess what? I got another surprise for you. And I'm just going to leave it at that because I feel like if I give any hints it's going to give it away. And I don't know if you guys have had a proper introducement to my new cat, well semi new, got her back, got him sorry. Got him back in, I think, July or August or something like that. His name is Goose. I call him Goosey, you know. Super cute, but I'll introduce you guys to Goosey real quick. This is Goosey, right here. He is a tabby cat, um, and he's not even a year old yet. I guess he's a little camera shy. There he is, he's looking at the camera. He's a little tired. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did. Like I said earlier, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And I'm just so excited to show you guys this next video coming up. It's 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 going to be a banger. I don't know if I'm going to have any footage of doing something with this new item. But if I don't, I'll at least show you guys the new um the new surprise that I have. And it's going to it's going to be it's going to be a wild one for sure. And I think a lot of you guys will be happy and tickled to death with this new purchase that I bought. Um, some of you guys will like it. Some of you guys might be a little iffy on it, but I'm sure it's going to be more good than bad. So just stay tuned for that video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.